Hello, welcome to ExcelExperts.com. Today we're looking at the Excel for Finance tips section on what is quantitative easing. So, um, let's, you don't already have it, you can go to ExcelExperts.com and um, either type that or search the site for quantitative easing. The article contains a spreadsheet that you can use to follow along and uh, some useful information. So, Let's have a look at quantitative easing and in order to explain this what I've done is I've created a very simple world example. In this world you have a thousand of your notes and coins. This is your total money supply. A thousand. The price, so you, all you have in this, this economy is money and apples. That's it. So the price of an apple is ten, let's say and there are a total of a hundred apples in the economy. So the total value of all physical notes and coins is equal to the total value of all the apples. Okay, let's say I've got a hundred in my savings account. How many apples can I buy? Well, it's fairly simple. I can buy the total savings divided by the price of an apple. I can buy ten apples. Now, Suppose the government prints an extra 100, so it increases the money supply by 10%. The total amount of apples stays the same, we haven't produced any extra apples. Therefore the price of the apple, if we're maintaining it that all money can buy goods and that's it, and the only thing they can buy is apples, the price of the apples just goes up. So it goes up from 10 to 11. My savings stay exactly the same. How many apples can I buy? Nine apples. So what's essentially happened is that by printing money the government has created inflation, so the price of apple from 10 to 11, and that inflation has made the relative value of my 100 savings a lot less. I can now buy less apples. So this is really a very very sneaky way of stealing money. Notice stealing. You save in good faith, government prints money, they are stealing money from you. Suppose they double the money supply. You, your, the value of your savings has just halved. Why are they doing this? Well, the reason they're doing it is because there's no rewards for failure, remember. So if there's no rewards for failure and you borrowed a lot of money and you got yourself in trouble, uh, the government's not going to bail you out. Or is it? Well, actually they've just reduced interest rates to zero and started printing money. So savers, you got screwed. Borrowers, on the other hand, if you've actually borrowed money, well this is very good for you because if you're borrowing money, you owe 10 apples here. If they double the money supply, you only end up owing the equivalent of 5 apples. Brilliant for you. So, printing money, bailing out people who took too much debt and overexpanded. Rewards for failure. You've been listening to ExcelExperts.com.